start by locating your hard cup and insert your liner. We're using the standard size today. From there we can add it in the coating. So this is a clear coat. We're going to mix at 4 to 1 to 1 so you can use the convenient mix ratios right on the cup. Then locate your PPS 2.0 lid. What helps is aligning one of the tabs of the locking collar with the window on the cup hard cup. As you press that down so you hear the click, you can verify that it's sealed with the liner by lifting up and, and making sure that seal is made. Then do your quarter turn rotation to ensure that locking collar is attached firmly to the hard cup. Once you have the cup mixed up and ready to spray, you grab your, your spray gun, performance spray gun, hold it by the nozzle, and then make that connection by ensuring that all four points are connected before inverting. Now let's spray. If you plan to reuse the nozzle, we'll step through the cleaning process. First, you'll want to drain back the coating into the PPS cup, and to do that, pull the trigger and give it a few good taps on the work surface. Once the coating has drained back out of the nozzle, you can go ahead and disconnect the performance spray gun from the PPS cup. Feel free to use a sealing plug to seal and protect that coating. Next, we'll clean out the nozzle. Today we're using the high-powered spray gun cleaner, and to do that, you can squirt this, triggering nice and gently into the spout of the nozzle, and then go ahead and drain that into a waste receptacle. You'll repeat this step as many times as necessary to make sure that that coating is cleaned out thoroughly from that nozzle. Once the nozzle is clean, you can remove it from the spray gun and then go ahead and grab a rag. Sometimes it takes a little bit of extra solvent to clean the needle tip, but give it a good wipe. And then store the spray gun with an atomizing head attached to protect the needle. 